The end could be near for train horns in San Juan Capistrano. The City Council recently applied to the Orange County Transportation Authority so it could install quiet zones at five of the city's railroad crossings. The train horns have sounded their warnings for a long time in the city. first night that we ever spent on the property, we spent in a little tent camper because the house was being painted. Uh, about 3 o'clock in the morning when the freight came through, my wife shot upright and said, Oh my God, I'll never sleep another night. That was the last time that the trains really impacted us. We knew the trains were going to be here when we bought the property. So we, we just kind of live with it, I guess. We kind of like hearing the horns of the trains coming in and out during the day. At night, I can understand the concern with the residents because they're trying to sleep. Trains are coming through with the horns. They should do a, a, a time set on it. So during the day, they let the, the sirens or the horns go on the train, but then they have a curfew on it, like at 9 o'clock at night or 10 o'clock at night or something like that where there has to be a quiet zone. Quiet zones allow train conductors to not sound their horns at railroad crossings, but they still can if they spot danger. It's a good idea in a way, but there's also its cons where like, if it's too quiet to the point where like, someone can't really hear it, then something bad could happen. And if it's too quiet, maybe like, someone that happens to be crossing by gets ran over and who, who really wants to have another person die? Right on key. Many Orange County cities have already implemented quiet zones at railroad crossings. If it helps, that's worth it. This is Kristen Hack for OCRegister.com.